Welcome, welcome, welcome to this episode of Street Sense with me, Maxwell Mensa. You can call me Talent Man. On this episode, I'm going to share with you seven signs is only wasting your time. Seven signs is only wasting your time. Charlie, ladies, when you're with a guy and you want to know whether or not he's serious with you, there are signs that show whether or not he's serious with you or whether he's just wasting your time. And so on this episode, I'm going to help you ladies to know whether or not the guy you're dating is just wasting your time. But before I get into it, I want to remind you and I want to urge you, kindly subscribe to my channel now. Yeah, kindly subscribe now. Like this video. Leave a comment for me. Whatever your comments may be, just leave a comment for me. I will read them and I will reply you. And please don't forget to share this video so others can get to watch what you're about to learn. And ladies, this is something that I'm really going to benefit from. So definitely share with someone so your friends can also benefit and then we all move forward. Seven signs he's only wasting your time. The first sign is when he doesn't discuss his future plans with you. When he doesn't discuss his future plans with you. How can you be dating a guy who doesn't discuss his future plans with you? How? I mean, how? And you two are in that relationship. You are with a guy, you've been dating for one month, two months, three months, and he doesn't discuss his future plans with you. I mean, I just dating him and it's all about sex and talking about nonsense and gossiping and doing, I mean, things that you think are making you, you, you think makes you happy, but doesn't uh, project he planning with you into his future. How? So if a guy doesn't discuss his future plans with you, my, my dear lady, he is wasting your time. Because if he is really into you, if he is really serious about you, if he is really serious about going uh, forever with you, I mean, spending his, uh, the rest of his life with you, he should be able to discuss his future plans with you. I mean, what is he hiding about his future plans? Is it the money he wants to make, the career he wants to have, the kind of life he wants to live, the kind of lifestyle he wants to have? What is he hiding? What is he hiding that he can't discuss with you? So if a guy is not discussing his future plans with you, my dear lady, he is only wasting your time. The second sign he's only wasting your time is when he doesn't talk about marrying you. Why he doesn't talk about marrying you? So you've been dating this guy for one year, two years, three years, and he has never brought up the, talk the, the, the topic about marrying you, about wanting to be with you forever, and you are still dating him. Then what are you doing with him? What are you doing with him? Are you just helping him to complete his course? Or just helping him to while away the, 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 the next one year, two years, three years of his life, or of your own life? No. And uh, be mindful about this one. There are some guys who use the marriage thing as, as, as a bait to hook some ladies just so they can have their way with them. Be mindful about such guys as well. There are the guys who come now and then they are all talking about marriage, 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 marriage. Sometimes it's only to uh, deceive you just to have you in bed and all that. But you need to be discerning to know whether or not he's talking about marriage with you is because he's serious about you or it's just for showmanship. But away from that, if you are dating this guy six months, one year, two years, three years, and he has never talked about marriage, he never brings it up. Or let's even um, imagine he, he brought it up once and it was some long time back and he just brought it up. And then for the past three years, uh, sorry, for the past three months, six months, one year, two years, you are with a guy, he, has, he hasn't brought up the talk about, about marrying you, my dear. <laughs> He's probably wasting your time because he, he, he doesn't see any future with you. Look, when a guy sees a future with you, he won't hesitate to talk about marriage with you. He won't. He won't hesitate. From the word go, he would want to even talk about marrying you because he's serious about you. He's serious about going somewhere with you, about spending the rest of his life with you, about, go, uh, I mean, going the long haul with you, not just on short something. If he wants to go the long haul, he would definitely be talking about marrying you. The next thing, if he doesn't consider your views and ideas, if he doesn't consider your views and ideas, he is definitely just wasting your time. How can he be dating you? And he doesn't consider your views. Just like your views and opinions about things doesn't matter to him. I mean, he, he, he doesn't think you have any smart ideas enough. He, he, he doesn't think you are smart enough or intelligent enough or you have any better ideas to offer him in any, I mean, in any circumstance at all. So when he goes into challenges, he doesn't talk about it with you. He keeps it to himself because he feels you don't have anything better to share with him. Really? And you are still dating him? Or he has to make a very important decision. He doesn't discuss with you. He doesn't even seek your opinion. He just thinks about, uh, he just thinks about it himself alone and then he goes ahead to execute without even discussing with you so you're there like oh uh my 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 baby whatever name you call him sweetheart whichever name you call him i mean uh, i i can see you've done this and you, he goes like oh well yeah I, I did it and it was even a very tough decision for me and i did blah blah and he did he does it without uh, informing you my dear he's wasting your time 
or even if you give your opinions and your ideas on stuff on stuff he rubbishes your opinions he rubbishes your viewpoints and then i mean he he he, he, he makes it look like your views are never i mean uh, up to standard or are never uh, brilliant enough charlie he is probably wasting your time because if he is not your ideas should matter to him he should be able to seek your viewpoint about matters about issues before going ahead to implement them or to make certain decisions so be mindful if he doesn't consider your ideas and your views probably he is just wasting your time the next thing if he doesn't prioritize you in his life he is definitely wasting your time if you are dating a guy who doesn't prioritize you in his life he said you are you are second option to him then why why are you even in his life why are you even in his life because if you are in his life then you 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 have to be the number one in his life you have to be the number one in his life probably he may have challenges uh, putting you number one before his parents or before whatever it is but i am of the view and many marriage counselors are, uh, marriage counselors are of the view that if you are dating a guy or if a guy is dating you you need to be priority in his life after god of course god has to be priority in his life the, the most the top most priority should be god after god you need to be his second most important priority before any other thing career comes yes uh, his his family comes his brothers sisters his siblings um his his parents his, his extended family whoever it is or nuclear family whoever it is they are there his best friends his friends from school and all that from church they, they are all there i understand his pastor everybody they are all there his mentors is well they are all there but once you come into his life he needs to make you his top priority if at any point in time he makes you a second priority and he has to probably i mean um, you guys are planning an outing or something and then he has to cancel the outing because his friends want to hang out with him hey my dear you are not his priority and it is a sign he is just wasting your time it is a sign he is just wasting your time you have planned an, an outing with him and then he calls you say oh you know my brother my brother wants us to go and hang out my brother wants us to go here and uh, he and so he, he wants to cancel the outing with you because of his brother Charlie, you are not his priority he he's showing you you are not his priority look there are instances where genuinely he has to cancel uh, um, appointment with you because he needs to be there for his family uh, his his parents or his sibling or a very good friend and it's very good genuine reason that one you need to be understanding enough to allow him to have time for his family and his friends of course he can't cancel his family and friends because of you it's not possible he shouldn't even do that so when it's very important for him to cancel an appointment with you to make time for his parents or his siblings or a family member or a very good friend on or for very very good reason then why not allow him but if constantly repeatedly he keeps making you feel like you are a second option in his life my dear he's only wasting your time because you can't be second priority i mean comparing you and his friends you can't be second priority i mean he can't have he can't have his his friends as topmost priority above you it's not possible it shouldn't be so so be careful if he doesn't uh, prioritize you in his life he is definitely just wasting your time the next thing is if he doesn't introduce you to his family and friends if he doesn't introduce you to his family and friends i'm not saying when you start dating on that day no you introduce you to his family and friends no giddy giddy. no 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 that's what i'm talking about of course you just started dating so you need some time to get to know yourself better then you can introduce you to his family and very close friends or even his mentors his spiritual leaders and all that and as to how long you would date before you start introducing you i can't i can't i can't give any recommendation whether it should be after one month or two months or six months or one year but it, i think it shouldn't cross six months you shouldn't be dating this guy for six months and you don't know any of his close friends you don't know any of his family members not even his his, his sister or brother or his father or his mother i mean having me spoken with them on the phone before nothing just a a first as though you are dating only him and that's all you don't even know his family you don't know his friends you don't know anything about him besides besides himself it's a dangerous sign it's a dangerous dangerous sign so if you're dating a guy who doesn't introduce you to his family and friends be careful well if if it's a long distance relationship that one is, 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 is allowed because long distance yeah you can't carry all his friends and family to come and visit you wherever you are in case he comes to visit you that's a different case altogether but if you live around each other you meet each other often you know once a week twice a week or even more than that and you've been dating for six months plus you haven't met his family anyone in his family you haven't uh met any of his close friends he doesn't introduce you to any of his close friends and you're seeing that relationship hmm charlie be, be, be very careful 
The next thing is, when he is never part of anything you do, when a guy is never part of anything you do, he is clearly wasting your time. Clearly, he is wasting your time. How can he be dating you? Or how can he be dating the guy? And everything you do seems not to be okay for him. Everything you do seems to be, oh, now we are here, send your I could have done better. And almost all the time, everything you do, he see, he seems to put you down, tries to dampen your spirit, tries to uh, criticize everything you do without ever praising you for anything. You've never done anything for him to praise you before. Nothing. Meanwhile, you know you are doing stuff probably at the office or in school or even at home. You are doing very beautiful stuff that People are commending you for, but he alone never seems to appreciate anything you do. He's never part of anything you do. My dear, he is clearly wasting your time. The last thing, and this one is very serious, and most of these have experienced this. When a guy is only after your body and never interested in your brains and your intelligence, he is clearly wasting your time. A guy is only after your body. He only wants you for your body, your, your, your nice scalps, your nice boobs, your pretty face. That, that's all he's interested in. And he's never concerned about what you have to offer, your intellect, your ideas, your intelligence. My dear, he's wasting your time. He's wasting your time. He's only in because of the sex you will get. If he's that, I mean, that kind of a guy, be careful, run away, flee from him. Flee from him. If he's only interested in your body, that's all. On the day, be a sex, sex, no, and no, 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 never picks your ideas on anything, never seeks your opinion on stuff never engages you in any intellectual discussion, never has any productive discussion with you besides sex. He is clearly only in to waste your time. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Street Sense with me, Maxwell Mensa. I know you have, you have learned stuff from it. And so ladies, guys, kindly share this video. Let your friends uh, watch and also learn from it. Definitely subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Thank you and I will see you on the next episode.